Hey everybody, it's me Jules again. Okay, here's my review of the new Power Rangers series, Power Rangers Mega Force 20th Anniversary Power Rangers series. I just can't believe it's been 20 years already. I mean, I could just look back and, you know, how the show has changed. But it's also like how I remember from how the original Mighty Morphin was that I noticed how much this pilot episode of Mega Force is so much like the a giant reference to the Mighty Morphin pilot. Tell here's a little bit of a recap. Tell me if this sounds familiar. Some sentient uh, head being and his robot buddy teleport five teenagers with attitude. One who's nerdy, one who's a valley girl, one who's the fun-loving type, one who's very disciplined and is a born leader and is into karate, and there's the one character who's pretty much hard to describe in terms of personality. And they have they have been selected to become superheroes to defend the Earth from sort of threat from outer space. Tell me if that's not too much like the original. Pretty much the characters were okay. They're just giant references to the original team. Like, Troy was pretty much like Jason due to the fact that he liked martial arts. Actually, he's really into martial arts. And also that he's very well discipli disciplined and also the fact that he is capable of owning up to the task of being the leader. Um, then there is Noah, who's pretty much like Billy because, you know, he's the nerd. He's the geek who has a whole bunch of techno babble or scientific babble and uses words like uh, scientifically impossible or fascinating. Then there is Emma, who is pretty much like Kimberly in the sense that she's kind of a valley girl. But instead of being like a mall rat valley girl, she's more of a nature-esque valley girl who pretty much cares about the environment. She's a little bit high maintenance, but not too high maintenance. Um, Gia? Um, I'm sorry. Um, it's just like Trini, she's kind of hard to actually pin down on. Jake, he's pretty much like Zack because he's fun-loving and carefree. And also, they pretty much fleshed out his character just a little bit, considering that he has a major crush on Gia, and maybe we'll see a bit of that in the future. Gose is pretty much like Zordon due to the fact that, you know, giant sentient head, gave him the powers, you know, so, and, and also the fact that his mentor is Zordon. If you've been here monitoring the Earth against extraordinary threats, where were you when Queen Banshira was invading with demons? Where were you when Rancid came from the future and planned to, you know, rob us all? Or where were you when Mezagog was planning to turn the entire Earth into prehistoric uh, dinosaurs again? Apparently all of those things were not really extraordinary threats to the Earth. But apparently, you know, you still get the whole ominous, wise kind of feeling from him. Tensu sort of fills out the whole clumsy yet loyal and reliable robot buddy. It's He doesn't really fill in the alpha... He doesn't really fill in the alpha 5 role completely. Just a little bit, but not utterly. We don't see that much of his personality. I'm guessing like the biggest thing that we're all expecting so far is just like the Power Ranger war that we all saw. You know, the whole teaser thing and what we've seen online from the Sentai and we know it's going to be super awesome. But um, I'm also hoping that maybe we'll see like little chemo appearances of Rangers from the past. It would, in terms of story, it would be kind of weird that all of the Rangers from the past actually came together for some reason. You know, to help fight the bad guys, it'd just be kind of out of the blue. As awesome as it would be, it would be kind of out of the blue. So, like, adding some chemo appearances from other rangers would pretty much build up to that story and, you know, be even more awesome. They also kind of included some little references, like Ernie's brain freeze, which is pretty much a giant reference to J Ernie's juice bar, and also how, you know, Emma was, like, complaining about her hair. It's the same thing Kimberly was doing. And also, like, how they say it was lucky this time. That is kind of a big reference. Like, you were lucky, but it was no chance. No, luck had nothing to do with it. That is that is exactly the same thing Zordon said. But also, what troubles me is, like, the Rangers are more than willing to actually join in, whereas the first one actually question it. Normally, when you're teenagers, like, even in Dino Thunder, they actually questioned it and didn't believe in it. Like, 
it just seems odd and baffling that they are able to accept it immediately. Most teenagers would just freak out. And that would be my only problem with it. Other than, you know, the villains. Unlike with Rita, with Rita we got a lot from her. She's an intergalactic space sorceress bent on conquering the entire universe. We got more out of her than we did out of these aliens. So far all we know is that they're aliens and that they want to conquer Earth. However, we don't know much about them. We don't know what their what their plans are. Like why are they why do they want to take over the Earth? And we don't even know where they come from. Um that's my biggest problem. The suits they were good. It's just, I don't know, I feel like something's wrong. Maybe it's the symbol, or maybe it's the white in their outfits. I mean, yeah, it's an even amount of the primary color and the white, but I feel like the white is overpowering it. All in all, this was not entirely the best pilot. It was good, however, there are still questions that need to be answered. Also, the acting was not as bad as Samurai. In Samurai, the acting was very lame and the jokes were cheesy. But in this one, it's not so bad. The acting is kind of borderline-ish, but a lot better than Samurai. And I'm actually more compelled to actually watch it more than I did Samurai. And also, I'm pretty much, just like the rest of you, gonna stick around to see if there are any chemo, chemo appearances from other rangers and also to see that one giant final battle with all the rangers from the past i'm really hoping for that okay guys uh tell me what you thought of power rangers megaforce please subscribe please comment and i'll see you later